What started out as a normal day ended up in three very close calls. For some reason, I happened to have the GoPro strapped right to my chest. Normal. In fact, it was better than normal. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. The sun was shining. It, shining. it was dry out. Right, being from Minnesota, not a single one of you students yet has picked on me about my accent. So I think I'm going to lay it out a little thick for you now, don't you know? We're going to do a little bit of a trailer set up here and we're going to show you what we got. But we only got about a half a day of mowing that we can get in because we got a few thunder boomers are coming our way. Weed eaters here, we like to trim up around the trees with those there. And then we got two 50 inch grandstands. We're going to be uh, hopping on those. Those are kind of like the drag cars of uh, lawnmowers. So they're really fun to mow and they can take them on these steep slopes with no problems there. So we're going to take you for a quick tour today of this uh, what do we got about 10, 11 acres there? I think we're gonna be mowing 45 homes. It's gonna be a fun day. We only got uh, till noon before the thunder boomers come in, but uh, it should be a good day. And the first thing we decided to do, because we had rain coming our way, was to mow, we have a steep hill which ends at the bottom of a pond. We decided to mow that hill before the rains hit us at noon. We know we wanted to get that done before the grass went slick. We both started on opposite sides of the pond, working at mowing back and forth. And then, on sight unseen to me, Jake's mower took a nosedive and slid all the way down and stopped right before it went in the pond. And about 30 seconds later, my mower did the exact same thing. Took a nosedive and slid all the way down. And you can see that while I've got the, the GoPro on camera. One lining and it was sliding down in the Water. Dude, you slid like straight. Slid straight down. The rock bed saved your ass. And about, what, is that before or after I slid down? This was before. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably five minutes in trying to get my thing up before I see you go straight down the hill. I scooted down the hill sideways and hit the rock bed down there. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. What we didn't realize happened was the fertilizer company came through and I don't know what chemical they applied, but it was like an oil slick. Literally, it would not dry and it was like Teflon coating the wheels of our mowers. How long? This stuff is really slick. <laughs> I took a spill this morning. <laughs> you took a spill just walking? Oh, dude, that's hilarious. We almost lost both our mowers in the pond. We didn't realize it was that slick. That was not all of the excitement to be had that day. We have, on this same exact site, we have a steep hill. We have a retaining wall, a steep hill, and then another retaining wall. And the problem is... The bottom retaining wall that holds up the steep hill, if you go over the top of that, you're going to have a mower crash down on top of your head, and you're going to fall about seven to nine feet before you hit the bottom. What happened was I went in between the walls to start mowing. Everything went fine. First pass went fine, swung around, came back. Second pass, perfect. Absolutely no issues. Went up to check with uh, Jake, see how things were going, and when I came back, I had driven through some more of that fertilizer. I even took the time to look down and make sure that I had mowed enough flat area to get the fertilizer what I thought was finally off my wheels. That's what I get for thinking. I think it must have laid a coating on my wheels or something. Because when I went back for that third swipe on that hill, Away she went. But this time, I wasn't able to jump safely off the lawnmower. In fact, as she's sliding sideways, I'm trying to reverse the lawnmower. The wall itself catches me. The wall caught my lawnmower, and the lawnmower went up and back down. And when the lawnmower went up, it took me and flipped me on top of the lawnmower. And if it had kept going, it would have went over the retaining wall, and the lawnmower would have landed on top of me. Not my first close call, but I want to hear from you about your close calls. I want to hear your close calls, because I know you've had them. I know you've had some excitement in your life. I'll push. You you do the same thing we did last time. Okay, but we're going to pull it this way. No, we'll pull it back it straight up your back way. Back it straight up. 
Yeah, we're getting a lot of practice with this, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two, almost three. This morning we had three close calls, and this, these are on conditions that normally we would have no issues with. So a word of warning. If you're going out mowing and somebody fertilizes their lawn and they spray it, I don't know what he sprayed it with, but the guy himself fell down while he was spraying the slopes. That should have told me where the problem lied. Of course, all of these problems happened before I realized how slick this stuff was and I realized what he had sprayed on there. So hindsight's 2020. I want to hear from you. Tell me about your close calls. This should be interesting.